Okay, we're here at the float and fly, and here's all the planes laying around, and here's all the pilots. And but what I wanted to show you was my new minivan. This is the Dodge Grand Caravan 2016. You can see all I got my gear in here. It's just everywhere. But there's plenty of room in this thing. That's what I wanted to show. Uh, it's got the stow and go, so like the third row seats are folded down right now out of the way. And then I folded down one of the second row seats here. So there's just a ton of room. There's literally eight feet from the back of this seat all the way back there. So it's eight feet right along there. And there's plenty of room for more stuff in here. You can see I got this beaver in here. Normally I couldn't get that in unless this seat was folded down because the wing kind of sticks out a little. But it easily fits in there now. And the end of it isn't even out to the end of the van here. So that gives you a ton of room. I just love this stow and go. And everything's electric. You know, you got a button here you push and it closes the tailgate automatically. The doors are electric too. You pull the handle here and it opens up. And there's a button that you can press. Ah, uh, where is it? Oh, right here. You can press this button, it'll close up. And this is what the front looks like. It's got the Navi right there and backup camera on that same screen. Basically has all the amenities. And there's a TV up in here. Watch the TV. And let me show you how one of the doors looks and I'll show you the uh, outlets too. So basically here's what it looks like from the front. The front end on it's pretty stylish. I kind of like it. This is the uh, sport model. Okay, we'll open the door. What you do is, well, first you gotta pop it. It's got these uh, electronic poppers here. And you just press this twice. Kind of standard on some cars nowadays. But not all of them have it. So you pull the handle and it opens up. Now what I wanted to show you was, back in here, it's got actually AV in right here, so you could put video in, like if you had a video receiver for your RC plane, you could plug it in there, and there's power right here, and there's also an AC outlet, I don't know if you can see that, but right here is an AC outlet right here, and USB ports, so very handy, so if you plugged your uh, receiver in there, you could watch your plane flying on the TV up here. Thought that was kind of cool. You could do FPV from inside the car. And uh, there's there's live outlet. There's actually a live outlet up front here. So even if the car is turned off, you can get DC power right here on this live outlet. And then there's one here that turns off when you turn the key off. So it's got a lot of features. I really like it. Yeah, the gear shifts up here on the dash, but I kind of got used to that now. It's sort of close to where it used to be. It was on a handle right here on the steering column, but now it's just over here. Not much, not much of a change. So that's it right there. Quick run around. We're getting ready to do some more flying. Got some stuff powering up. Here's a gas boat getting ready to go. Okay, so we'll see you later. Take care, bye.